What is up everybody and welcome back to another episode of Fallout 4 Mods Weekly. If you've somehow never seen the series before or seen it on anybody else's channel, basically what it's all about is showing you guys some of the best of the best of mods to come out each and every week for Fallout 4. So things for Fallout 4 are finally starting to pick back up since the release of Skyrim Special Edition. We got a number of very good releases this week, while previously it has been kind of barren for the past month or so. But actually more than anything else, I feel like we got a very good mix of mods from all these new releases there's not just success in one category but rather kind of a plethora of options for you to download with all that being said if you guys do enjoy the series i really encourage you to consider subscribing if you do want to support this video you could do so by leaving a comment down below tell me what one mod you're waiting for for fallout 4 is whether it be a weapon mod a specific weapon mod or maybe just that cool power armor that hasn't come out yet personally i'm still looking forward to and waiting patiently for the war machine power armor i'm very excited for that and i just really can't wait for it to be released with all that being said let's just jump right into it so up first, we do have the IF-54 Battle Rifle Redux. So basically, this is going to be a redux of a previous mod released by Skibida. Basically, he learned some new skills and now wants to go back and redo a bunch of his mods. What the result is, is a very modular, very cool, and very high quality battle rifle that you could, again, turn into a lot of different things. Skibida really does embrace the Fallout 4 weapon modification system. And by that, I mean, you could turn this into a submachine gun, a LMG, a sniper rifle, or just a normal assault rifle. And I really like that. There are a lot of different weapon attachments, barrels and stocks and receivers that you can modify this to really make it deal different amounts of damage, use some different ammo types, etc, etc. On top of all that, it also does have some other like small features such as having one unique weapon that will randomly appear on some different enemies out there that's going to be noticeably more powerful and fire a 50 BMG round. As well as of course, there are a few different camo customization options so you can make it look a little bit different. I actually think the wood dressings on this make this gun look amazing, especially when you're using it in first person. It is a very cool gun, although I do think it use some improvement in the area of sound they sound a little bit echoey and just don't match the other quality kind of set by the gun regardless i think it's worth a download if you think the gun's cool or you just want to try out something a little bit different up next, we do have the trench gun. This is going to add in the iconic shotgun into Fallout 4. It's not exactly as you would think. It's not like the trench gun you've probably seen in a lot of media. It is a little bit of a modified version. It's almost like a cross between a Spaz 12 and a trench gun. Unfortunately, this does not yet have pump action animations, although that is supposed to be coming in the coming week. So look forward to that. Regardless, it is still a pretty high quality and pretty cool weapon. I definitely like the look and feel of it, especially with those kind of brown dressings that it does have. I think it just contrasts the black gun pretty well. It does have some interesting weapon attachments i especially like the kind of foldable stock it does have you could have it in a fold up version or a fold down version and although there aren't a ton of different options to customize this gun all the options it does have seem to be pretty high quality and frankly i think it's just a pretty good shotgun mod to include in your game it's a little bit different than some of the other options out there it basically is kind of a semi-automatic shotgun right now until we get those pump action animations regardless i definitely think it's worth a download and one of the cooler mods to come out of the past few weeks so up next, we do have advanced perks. This is going to actually add in 49 new perk levels in to Fallout 4. So what that means is basically right now you have with a lot of the perks levels 1 through 4, some of them are only 1 through 2, etc, etc. So for some of the different perks in the game, it's going to add one additional level that's going to either give you a cool new custom effect or just some new stats that kind of boosting what is already there. For example, it does add a new level to the bloody mess perk. So previously it went to two times damage if you had all four levels, but now this is going to add level 5, which is going to give you 2.5 five damage it's not really a crazy huge mod but i think it's just a small change that is really nice and you could definitely see the kind of benefits this will have over the long term of playing the game over and over again this will add in some more variety and a few different other options to kind of customize your character to make it what you want so up next, we do have the network. This is actually going to be in armor as well as a power armor. I did get a pre-release version of this, so I did make a video on it about two weeks ago before it was publicly available, but since it has been released for everyone to download, it is a very cool mod, basically adding in a standalone armor, again, as well as a power armor. I think both of these look really cool. Some people prefer the armor, other people prefer the power armor. I actually fall on the side that I think the power armor looks a little bit better. Since my initial video, it did add in a new way to get the armor, so there's this cool little settlement to go to and kind of get the armor armor, rescue it if you must. The mod itself is pretty high quality. It kind of gives you an evil or demonic vibe, I want to say. Like someone that was technologically inclined but wanted to cause harm to people in the world. All around, again, I think it's one of the better power armors we've had in a while because we have had a pretty dry period as far as power armor mods go. I also really like the addition of just the standalone armor. I think that's a really cool thing that I wish I saw more mods doing because not everyone likes using power armor all the time, yet creating power armor mods did turn into a bit of a fad for Fallout 4. 
So up next, we do have Simple Survival. This is a really simple mod, as the title does suggest, but one that I think a lot of people are going to really like. So if you guys do know, Survival Mode basically makes it so you can't fast travel, enemies are going to do more damage to you, as well as you do more damage to them. Some items are going to just be more scarce in the game, as well as it does add in a hunger, thirst, and sleep system. Well, basically what this mod is going to do is when you pick up a hollow tape that is going to be located right outside Vault 111, you're now just going to have access to the hunger, sleep, and thirst system. All the other kind of add-ons from Survival survival aren't going to be there and it's just basically going to get and activate this so when you travel around or time passes you are going to have to eat some stuff and if you don't eat stuff you'll have negative debuff so you could have minus health points minus strength minus charisma minus carry weight etc etc i actually think this is really cool it's a really good middle ground between survival and not because a lot of people don't like losing fast travel and stuff like that me included so i think it's a good way to spice up your game make it a little bit more interesting but without the massive challenge that survival does provide the 1022 pistol. So I actually really like this mod. It does need some work to make it a little bit better, but regardless, this is going to be the first mod by this mod author. So for that, a big shout out to him. What's going to add in is this Ruger pistol. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. That is the real world counterpart. That is kind of going to be a semi-automatic or fully automatic machine pistol in Fallout 4. The texture quality on this thing is very high. All the different pieces for it, although it does have minimal attachments, are really good looking and I think look very sharp and fit into the game very well. It does reuse some of the handmade rifles sounds, but I think it actually sounds very cool. It's very fitting for the gun, especially when you configure this to be fully automatic with a drum magazine. I think it just sounds and feels awesome to use. It feels very natural, and again, I feel like Fallout 4 has always lacked a good SMG mod. Now, with all that being said, it does have very few attachments to the point where there's really no barrels. All you could really have is two different magazines, a few different receivers, as well as a silencer. Regardless, I feel like if you want a good SMG mod and you don't care too much about that, this is going to be one of the best ones to download. I really like the look of this. Again, I feel like it feels and sounds just awesome compared to some of the other options you have out there and I would definitely recommend adding it to your game. So last but certainly not least, we have the Atom Girl outfit. So this is going to add in a pretty cool outfit, basically meant to be themed around a girl that maybe likes explosives or something like that. This mod author did do something with this outfit that I absolutely love and I hope other people take inspiration from. He made two main variants. So the first one is going to be just the complete outfit. Every addition or kind of modular thing you could have with this outfit will come with that. So it's one armor piece you could equip and then you have everything. On top of that, all the different armor pieces are broken up into individual categories. Categories. So if you don't want the goggles or don't want the things on your back, you can attach them or detach them as you do wish. I really like this because frankly, for making this video, obviously I want to use the whole outfit. And it's just a lot easier than having nine different items in my inventory, kind of taking up space and making it just look much more cluttered. Regardless, beyond all that, I think the outfit does look very cool. It has a really nice vibe and kind of just unique feel to it that I feel like a lot of outfit mods have been abandoning lately. All around, if you use an explosive character or just kind of like the theme of an explosive character, I definitely think this is worth a download. It's kind of a good cross between a Sluti mod and a normal armor mod, so it does have that going for it as well. That's going to pretty much wrap it up for this episode of Fallout 4 Mods Weekly. I do hope you guys enjoyed as always. Let me know if you watched to this point in the video by commenting Nuka-Cola down below. It's actually really hard to think of what for you guys to comment. I just kind of look around me and see what I see, and right now I see a Nuka-Cola poster on Nexus.com. Regardless, as always, I thank you guys for watching again, and I hope to see you all next time. Later!